In this video tutorial, we will teach you how to create and display portfolios on your website using the portfolio slider item. First, let's log into our WordPress dashboard and find portfolio in the left side admin menu. Here, we already have five portfolios created. They were imported with the Interior 5 pre-built website. Let's quickly add a basic portfolio item to explain this process better. To begin, click on the Add New button. Now, the first thing when creating a single portfolio is the title. We'll name ours The Great Room. After that, we can start inserting the content using the WordPress Gutenberg editor or the Muffin Builder. Since the portfolio slider displays only the featured images, we'll skip it and move to the right sidebar. Here, you can add and assign categories to your single portfolios. This will let you achieve better filtering possibilities when displaying those portfolios on a page. Let's create a new category named Rooms and assign it to this project. We'll talk more about categories in a while. Now, the thing we're primarily interested in is the featured image. It will be displayed in the portfolio slider. Let's choose one from our media library, and after that's done, we are ready to publish. Great! We now have six portfolios ready. To show them on any page in a slider, we need to use the Muffin Builder. Let's go to Pages and edit a page. In our case, we'll use the home page. We have already prepared a section with a wrap to place in it. To insert the portfolio slide item, click on Add Item. Now, since there are a lot of items, we'll use the search option. Typing in Portfolio shows us four items used to display portfolio projects on your page. We will only cover using the portfolio slider item in this video. After the item is inserted into the wrap, we can start editing it. The first option is the count value. It is responsible for how many slides we'll display in the slider. Below that, we have the category dropdown. If we click it, we'll see a list of all categories, including our just created rooms category. We want to display all of the portfolios here, so we will choose all. You can also display multiple categories by typing in the category slugs and separating them with a comma. Moving on, we see the order options. You can order your portfolio slides by date, menu order, and title, and set the order to be descending or ascending. The navigation dropdown lets you choose to hide or show the arrows for this slider item. You can also set the third option to show them only on hover. We'll choose this one because it will show you how the portfolio slider looks with and without those arrows. The following drop-down lets you choose the size of the images. The portfolio slider does not have an option to set the number of slides you show at once. This is all done by the slider. It calculates the size of the images and your browser window's width to set how many slides should be visible at once. This way, for example, you will see three slides on a desktop, two slides on a tablet, and one slide on the mobile phone. We'll choose the large option because we want around two to three images on the desktop screen. You can also choose how the slider scrolls the images. You can scroll all of them at once if you select the one page option. Let's choose the single slide option to slide them one by one. For advanced users, further customization is easier with the custom class field. It can hold multiple classes separated with a space. Okay, since we're all done, let's update the page and see how this looks. Great, we can see our portfolio slider with our just created portfolio item. If we hover over it, navigation arrows will appear and disappear as soon as we move the cursor away. Clicking on them rotates the slider left and right, one slide per click. You can also enable auto slide, so the portfolio slider changes automatically. To do that, go to Theme Options, then click on Global and Sliders. Here you see a list of all slider items that B-Theme offers. The zero value means that the slider will not auto-slide. We will type in 3000 in the Portfolio Slider field, 
which means that the slide duration will be 3 seconds since the value is represented in milliseconds. Remember to always save changes. If we go to the home page, we can see that the slides change automatically. There is also a pause on hover option enabled by default. If you hover on the slider, the auto slide will not work until you move your cursor away from the item. Thanks for watching this video and remember that if you have any questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.